Certainly was. All right, let's dive off of that. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signed the name image likeness bill. It goes into effect July 1st of 2021. That is uh, a little over 12 months away. It, the NCAA is going to have to get something done, and that is why Power Five conferences were pleading with Congress to get something done. Uh, you're going to have to have something that that matches what all these states want to do. California is by far the most open. Florida is right there with them. Colorado has set theirs for 2023, etc. You, you need something before these go into effect, right? California is going to an effect uh, uh, in 2023. But now that Florida has signed theirs and it's going into effect, they're going to have to do something. Um, and it's not going to be this, oh, well, we'll let them make some money off EA Sports and whatever. No, you you got to get on board. Like, period. Otherwise, every player that has an option is going to go to Florida. Like, they're going to go down to the state of Florida and play and make whatever they can make. And no, not everybody's going to be able to make money down there. Like, that's just the way it goes because it, you have to set up something. This is, one, it's great that Florida went ahead and did this. They didn't bow to the pressure of the NCAA or anybody else that was pushing against them, all these lobbyists, everybody else, because you know the NCAA has millions of dollars tied up in lobbyists. Um, Why? Hang on, hang on, wait a minute. We can't afford to play players, but we've got millions of dollars to pay people who all they do is bribe other people. Right. Good to know. That's the system we got, guys. Yeah. Yeah. It's ridiculous. That's what those sons of bitches do out there in Indiana or Illinois or wherever the hell they're from. It's utterly ridiculous, but good on Florida for not bowing down to the pressure and going ahead and getting this done. They went ahead and passed it on through. Governor Ron DeSantis, like, this is a bipartisan issue. Like, this is, both sides are in agreement that the players should be able to get paid off their likeness. That's almost unheard of in these days. In these incredibly polarizing times, it's not very likely that you see both sides of the aisle coming together on an issue. Everybody agrees. Yet the players should be able to get paid. I don't know that they should get paid by the schools, but, but I don't know why they shouldn't be. For that. And, but Not nobody's one asking person for it. Has yeah. asked for that in this stuff. Yeah, I mean it's just it's just ridiculous. Uh, Damien jumped in. He said, uh, "He said why not have all the teams?" So this is going back to the NBA. Why not have the teams in World Cup group stages? Yeah, we we've been through that before. I mean, it, it would be interesting, but the reason they don't is because the NBA wants to have a real playoff. They don't want an asterisk next to. They want champions. to try to make it look like all the regular playoffs that they've always had, which is seven game yeah. series. Uh, Michael said, "Big middle finger to the NCAA has to be the most corrupt system in America." Yes, yep. they. The reason why these and that's schools, saying something, by the way. Yeah, that's saying something. We are finding out that almost every system in this country is really jacked up, and they want right? to tell you that they're not. They want to give you all these reasons why they're not. Here is the biggest reason why these schools do not want players to get paid because that is money that would be going to the school to advertise with them, and instead it would be paying the player to advertise for them instead. I think that's, that's such a stupid argument because there are enough local businesses out there that in every small college town, I'm not talking about big corporations. I'm not talking about national sponsorships like Allstate and all this other stuff. I'm talking about small mom-and-pop businesses. Every college town in every state has enough local businesses that want to support. Now, right now they can't because for you to charge for advertising, you want $20,000. And local mom and pop place can't afford that. But once all the $20,000 checks start going to the players, then maybe you're fine with 10 people paying you $2,000. Yeah. Now you still get to 20K, and instead of having one banner, you got to put up 10 banners. That's fine. That's part of your deal they're not going to lose one nickel because there's enough people out here that would love to advertise locally, but they don't afford the amount that these schools ask. Well, why do they ask what they ask? Because they can, because currently the big boys are paying them and not the players. Also, I think it's going to be flipped. I think the big boys or national places are still going to pay the schools. They're still going to want the school brand sponsorship, not the individual personal sponsorship. So who's going to end up paying all these kids is probably going to be a lot of small local places. Agreed. Um, And here's the reason why national brands aren't going, they're going to be very suspect to put all their 
eggs in an 18 year old, 19 year old kid. Yes. I mean, you're, you're not going to get million dollar contracts. That's just not going to happen. But um, even hundred thousand dollar contracts, if it, it, it's the, the dollar figure is irrelevant. It's, it's my name, my company name next to Jameis Winston. Yes. And then Jameis Winston, rape allegation, steal crab legs, grab her by the pussy. And everybody associates me and my brand with him. There's no national con- con- team that's going to do that. Yeah. There's a company that's going to do that. They're, they're going to be very suspect before they do that. Now, mom and pops. A little Mom and Pops will a hundred percent absolutely do that. Because that grocery store, he won't have to steal crab's legs. That 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 little convenience store, they'll just they'll just give them to him and with the sponsorship. Yeah, and then but that's just part of it. So no, that you know, Damien uh, jumped in. He said the NCAA are like the mafia. And then uh, Michael said money's already being made. Now it'll just be public and no going back and stripping trophies or banners. That's basically all that we want on this show, right? Yeah, we. Want I just want to get it out of the darkness the into the light. And I'll tell you this, this is why, because I want kids to honestly go where they want to go to college. This is the, this is the absolute truth, by the way. Okay. I want kids to go where they want to go to college. And right now I don't believe they're doing that. No, it's I believe been going kids on are leaving home and they're going to places they would never darken the door of in their life because their families are telling them you got to go because they're offering us the biggest offer. Yes. It, Albert means went to Alabama only because his high school coach got paid. That's like, right. Period. Uh, if you go back and look, Brian Bowen went to Louisville. Louisville he that's never right. even considered Louisville. He they they called. There was a runner that called Louisville's coaching staff and said, "Hey, Oops. do you guys want this five star? Uh, we can probably make it happen." They said, "Well, yeah, we'd love to recruit him." He he shows up and he commits in less than a week. Yep. Like, that's it. He had never even been to the campus, never even considered him, and it was because Adidas was giving him $150,000. That's right. That's right. Like, it, he didn't, it, maybe he, he didn't just didn't go, care. He didn't, he didn't want to live the next year and a half or however long you spent in Kentucky. Go but, to, but, out, if we get it out in the light, if we get it out in the open, then these kids can actually pick where they want to go to school and do that and not feel like they're leaving money on the table. Yeah. And maybe and maybe you're feel leaving. feel like they're letting their families down. Yeah, you you'll have a check coming you're, in. You'll have. You're this talking kind of stuff to a in. guy that, after my second freshman year of college, I was asked to leave college and come home because my mom was going to lose our house. Okay, it wasn't that drastic. I shouldn't say that. It wasn't that drastic, but somebody had to come home and help pay bills. Yeah, things were tight. Had to help pay bills. It's part of it. Yeah. I know what that pressure's like. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it so, happens for a lot so of it's, I get that it's hard. That dictated where I went to college, where I finished school. So you you ended up, where were you? Were you in Arkansas? Well, in my first freshman year of college, I went to Washington Baptist University. Was that, with, is that in Arkansas or is that, where is It's that? in Arkadelphia. It's in Arkadelphia. Okay. And then I went to Northwest, but I was at Cenotopia. And then when I came back to finish at Ole Miss, I had to finish at, from I to leave Oxford and come back to to South DeSoto Island, County. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, you're right. Uh, Michael said money's always – or uh, uh, hold on. He said this is also keep young athletes away from those scum agents that take advantage of them. Some of that might still go on. Uh, basketball players are allowed at this point to sign with agents, and they can come back to school if they don't get drafted, if they don't take money, et cetera, et cetera. That's the biggest thing, though. Uh <laughs> Matt said NWCC grade 13. Yeah, that's, I, I did that. I did that. Um, but, yeah, it, it, the scum agents are always going to be there. When you've got somebody just handing out money, it's always going to be there. And the NCAA has tried to to curtail that out, right? They've, they've tried, but they are still around. There's not as many of them as there used to be. Hang on. Um, the NCAA is making it worse by keeping it in the darkness. Yes, agreed. Okay. How, what, what, do you, what do you think these kids would actually be getting – if it wasn't going through so many different back back channeled systems, so many backdoor systems, all those people that touch that money to get it to that kid to make sure it never gets traced back to where it came from, all those people have to have their hand greased and not just a little bit. They got to get paid enough, paid enough to where they don't ever talk about it. Well, and on top of that, it's stuff like uh, like the Gina Ford situation with Zion that we talked about. Uh, that kind of stuff. You won't have to worry about that as much because no. 
it'll all be on the up and up. Well, so because if a, all if those kid, contracts would be legit contracts. Right. So if you legally do, she there would be no lawsuit. I mean that you could not pay her. That's fine. And that's the thing. There, there would, would be, a lawsuit, be a lawsuit, but it'd be pretty damn crystal clear as to what she worked out. But the the contract wouldn't be it, it wouldn't be shady. That's we'll right. Because that. right now the contract's shady. Yeah, which is why it's not a done deal yet. She like doesn't have a real contract because all this stuff was a wink, wink, nod, nod. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Michael said, the NCAA trying to keep kids safe. Don't let anyone else take advantage of you. We'll do plenty of that. That's yeah, that's it. I mean, this is, that's 100% it right there. The you're, you're letting the biggest predators protect you from predators. Yeah, it's kind of kind of ridiculous. Matt said, if you want to do it right, the coach gives the kid cash directly, can't trace it, no one else will know. Uh, I will say this. If anybody else finds it, that's why coaches don't do that. That's why coaches don't ever do it. Yeah, because they can, they'll, they'll lose their million-something dollar a year job. Those Again. guys make two. The only person that has the most to lose is the head coach. Yeah, so the coaches are more so the ones that are, I don't know anything about it. I that's never right. heard anything. That's right. Don't want to. Don't don't know anything. This don't, is why heard. the wording "lack of institutional control" came in because coaches forever said, "I don't know what you're talking about." And at some point in time, we said, "You don't really get to say you don't know what we're talking about and say you have control over your program." Yeah, it, it's just like any other business. If you hire a bad employee, we're going to blame you. Like yes, it, yes, we're going to yes. fire the employee Here's as the thing. well. We'll allow a bad employee as long as we found out you found it, you addressed it. Okay, thank you. You're doing your job, and there's still going to be punishment for it. But yeah, you, it may not be as bad. But, but there's little bits of stuff. You know, you can get an ass chewing here or there, and that's no big deal. Michael said that's like a creepy van telling you not to get or not to get in the other creepy van. Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent, hundred percent. 